Even before the decision to eliminate steam engines from British railways, experiments were being made with other forms of traction, especially diesel. This series of videos looks at some of those early prototype locomotives, plus the many production diesel and electric classes which became part of the modernisation programme of the mid-1950s. We'll be looking at the many different liveries of the era and the many types of locomotives, some with us to this day, in this colourful extravaganza of archived diesels and electrics. We begin with a look at the unique 1500 volt DC electric locomotives built for the Sheffield to Manchester electrification scheme of the mid-1950s. These shops were taken in and around Penistone in the late 1970s and featured the Bobo 26,000 car, the larger Cocos having all been sold off to Holland by this time. At the end of the 1970s, it was decided to close the only line which these engines could run on, and thus ended the short career of these unsung heroes of electric traction. Back in time to the 1950s and the prototype Deltic, which became the forerunner of the famous East Coast Main Line Class 55s. Here it is at Rugby. Also at Rugby we see 10201. This was one of a class of three built by English Electric from 1951. They weighed 135 tons and had 3 foot 7 inch driving wheels. The class 02 diesel These small locomotives had hydraulic transmission and were first introduced in 1960. 10,000 was one of two diesel electric locomotives built in 1947 for the LMS. They were powered by English electric engines and had a tractive effort of over 40,000 pounds. We move down the West Coast main line to Bletchley in the mid-1960s, where we see a mixture of electric and diesel electric traction. Some of these locomotives have survived into the 1990s.
these Class 25s still work for British Railways. These shots were taken at Bournemouth. was one of a class of 101 locomotives introduced in 1961 by Bayer Peacock. In 1961, the 1949 Swiss-built gas turbine locomotive, number 18,000, could be seen out of use at Swindon. More shots of warships, still at Swindon. two separate classes, 42 and 43. This was a class 42, which Bristol Sidley made that engine. We move on to the East Coast main line, where we see two different production vehicles, or class 55. This class comprised a mere 22 locomotives. P2 had the external appearance of a Delta, but the internal workings of a Class 50. Built in 1959, the Blue Pullmans were a Metro Camel design. These shots were taken at Old Oak Common Open Day, and present that day with this Class 52 Western Diesel Hydraulic.
to this climax. Another Western is seen arriving at Paddington. In the background, we can see one of the short-lived North British Class 22. The 47 is also at Paddington. Some of the Class 52s had received the corporate blue livery. Across London to King's Cross, the closer to St. Delton, they each carried a nameplate and were either named after racehorses or regiments. They weighed 99 tons and had two-stroke diesel engines. The Class 31s were introduced as far back as 1957. Some survive to this day. This Delta is seen at Newcastle. As is this Class 46 Peak. Another now extinct class. A few weeks after this shot of DP2 was taken, the engine was involved in an accident which spelled the end of this prototype locomotive. It had worked for less than five years. shots were taken at Hitchin. The class 45 feet was sandwiched by two deltas. A Class 52 Western Diesel Hydraulic. Another blue Pullman. A Class 47. and another film. The Class 85 electric was at South Kenton. So was this Class 86 on a Pullman train. Another 86, this time on a freight liner. And DP2 again, this time at Stafford when it was new. we see this bubble car. Western Yeoman, also brand new at the time, is at Snow Hill.
class audience filmed on the Caledonian of the Stafford. And an early shot of a class 52 working on the western region. The Burton on French Brewery railway system spent most of its working life employing only steam locomotives. But before it closed in the late 1960s, a few diesel chunkers were employed. They were fitted with two Napier Deltic engines, which were unique in their triangular shape. Transmission was electric. Western, this time at Reading. Unlike the Deltic, Westerns had hydraulic transmission. They were powered by two Maybach engines. another warship. And a class 47. Note the elderly southern region unit as it passes. This class 47 is in the original two-tone green livery. The class of 510 locomotives first appeared in 1962, and many survive to this day. And another Western. Similar engines to the Class 52 Westerns. 
It was, however, a diesel electric rather than a diesel hydraulic. ancient units to their final resting place. Another high men. These two were diesel hydraulics. The 1A46 head coat on this class 47 tells us that it was bound for London Paddington. Another class 86 at Euston. E3105 became number 86030 in the late 70s, and today can be seen carrying the number 86430. These shots were taken at Wilston. also seen at Nunny. And this track recording machine was filmed as it passed through Birmingham's Snow Hill Station. Another Hymec. All these locomotives were either allocated to Bristol, Cardiff, or Old Oak Common Sheds. This class 33 became number 33065 after renumbering, and in 1996 could still be seen working on the southern region. The Red Western was brand new at Snow Hill in the early 1960s. It was number 1061. And now some shots at Southall. The former GWR rail cars survived into BR days despite being built in the 1930s and 1940s. This one had already been condemned. Another Class 52 Western diesel hydraulic arrived at Paddington. A total of 74 of these engines were built, the first in 1961. Arriving at Paddington, 
put this Swindon into City unit. Some more shots of Paddington, all taken in the late 1960s. Firstly, another Warsaw. This high man. The warship has departed. And a rare visitor to the western region, this Delta. Here, the same Delta is seen passing Tatlo. This 1240 was at Appleby, on the settle to Carlisle line. 200 were originally built, but number D322 was an early casualty. Metrovic Kobo diesel locomotives were peculiar in that at one end they had six wheels and the other end they had only four. Never a successful design, these crossly engined locomotives lasted barely ten years. These shots were taken at Derby. Another class 40, this time near Marston Green. And two more at Stetchford. 25 of this class carried names of former passenger lines. Another bubble car, this time near Stafford. Also near Stafford, in the late 1950s, we see 10,000 and 10,001 again. And another shot of the prototype Delta.
ten years later, and this is a class 45 peak on the Ribblehead Viaduct. These one Coco One locomotives weighed 138 tons. Still on the theme of peaks, the next few shots were taken at Kettering on the Midland Main Line. Engine number 45147 was wrecked in an accident near Salford in the mid-1980s. Two more Deltic workings, this time at Peterborough. class 20s, a class which dates back to 1957. Another class 44. Another pair of 20s. And yet another class 44 peak. Celtic number 55020 was named Nimbus and was the first member of the class to be withdrawn. Several more Deltics, all at Hatfield, interrupted only by the passing of one diesel multiple unit. Final class 55 is seen arriving at King's Cross. We move to Scotland and see this class 26 climbing towards Slot with this evening break.
pair of 26s at Carr Bridge. A few of these Type 2 Bobo locomotives just made it into the 1990s. All ended their days in Scotland. Two six zero three three was on a train to Thurso, seen here leaving Dingwall. These 26s were filmed arriving at Aviemore. Four oh one five nine is also seen at Aviemore. Today, only the sleeper services bring locomotive haul trains to this line. in the far north of Scotland. When steam engines finished at Inverness, the 26s took over and worked these trains for over 20 years until being displaced by the younger Class 37. This train is seen arriving at Inverness. built Type 2 at work in and around Dingwall.
few of the trains at this time, in the mid-1970s, were 25 volt. As seen here with this northbound freight worker. Unlike the 26s, the 25s could be seen as far south as Cornwall and as far north as Scotland. This one is seen passing Lonmay Station near Fraserburgh. Number 27036 was a Korean Larrick. Instead of the Crompton Parkinson engines which powered the Class 26s, the 27s were powered by GEC power units. Despite being more powerful than the 26s, the 27s were a few tons lighter in weight. These 27s were at Oban. number 27036 arrives and number 27019 departs these trains were steam heated Today it's impossible to get this shot as the location is now inaccessible. station now stands where this blue pullman is seen. And now we move 
to Sheffield, Victoria in the early 1960s. Number 26044 was one of the Class 76 locomotives which never received a name. Seven Coco locomotives were built for this Sheffield to Manchester DC electrified line, number 27,000 Electra being the first. A further 20 were ordered, but the order was later cancelled. All seven of these EM2s were subsequently sold to Holland, and Electra has since been returned. designated class 76 survived for use on freight trains after the passenger service was withdrawn. Back to AC electrics, this class 85 is seen at rugby. As is this class 40. A pair of class 86s, also at rugby. This class 47 is on the Licky Incline, being banked at class 37. were introduced in 1961. One of their many duties in the early days was banking heavy trains on this steep gradient. The train engine was a 9M. Another 9M, this time at Banbury. To the great pleasure of all steam fans, it's seen towing a failed Class 47 diesel. This Class 40 was near Shilton on the West Coast Main Line. At the same location, we see DP2 again. This shot of a Class 45 peak passing a 9F steam locomotive was taken near Muscombe Troughs on the East That's Coast Main Line. This Class 37 is also near Muscombe. At the same location, we see this Class 33, a slightly larger version. 26 and 27 classes. Although it's a poor shot, we included this Deltic because it's a rare opportunity to see a diesel locomotive picking up water from the troughs. This high mech was near Stonehouse. And the 37 was at Banbury on a York to Bournemouth train. Warships were not a common sight at Birmingham's Snow Hill station. Steadfast was one of the class 43 warships.
Western Talisman was another locomotive which eventually came to grief. It crashed in December 1973 at Ealing. Back to Loughborough and a steam working on the former Great Central Main Line passes over a DMU on the Midland Main Line. This Class 40 was hauling a Pullman train on the East Coast Main Line near Grantham. This Jubilee at Bromsgrove was about to tackle the Licky Incline, assisted in the rear by this Type 3 Class 37 diesel. And another example of a 37 banking a steam working. was at Hockley. Also in Birmingham, we see Hymek number D7092. Followed by another blue Pullman. Snow Hill, we see Hymek number D7057. Still at Snow Hill, this 47 was hauling a train of brand new cars. One wonders just how many of these survived into the 1990s. Also at Snow Hill, a pair of class 47s. one with some shots taken on the very last day of Class 52 working, February 1977. The special ran out of London Paddington and was hauled by D1023 Western Fusilier and D1013 Western Ranger.